Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. I cannot hear what is going on in Minecraft right now, but right now the spooky fest is going on, and this is the one thing that they don't do during spooky fest, which is grind for gravel. So this is what this would actually be the perfect time for grind. And look at this. Like I'm at I'm at the um I'm one level below what I need to be. I got my gravel minion back at the base trying to get that done and I actually prepared for spooky festival but it I I was like oh yeah you know what I am never going to be able to get to a level where I can get 3000 so like tell me how they get 3000 because I've heard that the candy talismans can't stack and I'm not sure if that's true I'm thinking that all the pros simply have like a an entire humongous bag full of um, those candy talismans and they slay all of the endermen all of the zealots down in that area because apparently mobs with that are harder to to destroy have a higher chance of dropping candy I don't know if that counts as slayer bosses if the pro players are just spawning in like max Sven pack leaders and then slaying them for like hundreds of candy at a time I do not know but um, tell me if candy talismans and candy artifacts actually stack if you can have one of each and that's the only way they can stack or if you can have multiple talismans that will stack because last time I did it I had two and I was and then I read up and I saw that they couldn't I read up and it said that they couldn't stack and I was like oh so the second candy talisman that I bought was like a waste um, and so that was kind of sad because I didn't want to have just that I wanted to at least have a lot more candy I wanted to know how all of the pros were getting all of the candy that they had like did they have luck five looting three swords or you know just what kind of things were they using I know you can wear um, Halloween armor to get your level up to a much higher to get your chances up higher but I still don't think that explains how they have a giant amount of candy so just let me know how they how they're doing it like because I would greatly appreciate if you are one of those pro players who's at the top please give me some advice about how I could do this better because right now I usually get around 100 in these spooky tournaments and well the spooky tournament it, the spooky stuff happens about once every five days so yeah that's a whole big thing but um yeah it's been five days since i've started the grind for those talismans and for the critical potion um which is crazy now you'll probably see this as like daily succession videos because um I actually needed to slow down on how many videos I was producing. I was playing Hypixel Skyblock, I had a lot of goals, I had a lot of time, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna make like four YouTube videos, and I'm gonna film all these YouTube videos. And then I went on an editing spree, where I basically edited all of those videos, and um, I, it turns out I accidentally didn't upload the um, first one of the series, so super sorry about that. Um, I apologize hopefully it never happens again and um, actually I I had gone up all the way until my fourth one so my fourth one hadn't even been uploaded and so I posted that as the daily video and then I s scheduled the fifth one and I scheduled the sixth one and seventh one and I kept on doing that but as you can see I've already been here like through here once and there's still quite a bit of gravel so I'm racking it up like I, I'm racking it up but um, a few quick tips don't get silk touch 
when trying to get collections, um, unless it's for like an ore or something, or something that is a block, like if you're trying to get a collection in cobblestone, I believe mining stone with silk touch will work. But when you're trying to get mushroom blocks and you need the collection as well, don't use a silk touch axe like I did. Just don't. Hypixel, you also need to fix this. Because uh, what if I used a minion with compactor? It would still work because technically they'd be mining the mushrooms and then just compacting it once they were done. But like, you need to know that some people just want the resources in the fastest way. And I was like, wait, if I cra craft a silk touch pickaxe, it'll be done practically nine times faster because, you know, when you mine a mushroom block, they only drop maybe one or two mushrooms. But when you mine and then it takes nine to craft the block. But what if you just mined the block? Like, is there a way for Hypixel to fix that? Or is it an unfixable bug? Because either way, I'd love to know because Hypixel, I really want that XP. Also, could you fix the cobblestone generator farm that Finister made? Because like, see, video on grinding through cobblestone and then having to make somebody else craft super compactors. Yeah, that was very nice of a uh, high pixel right there. I guess it makes sense because of, you know, how much <coughs> um, mining XP he would get as well as the actual cobblestone collection. But the thing is that he mined all of that cobblestone and it also makes sense because technically you created that cobblestone so cobblestone that you place down or say create you wouldn't get the collection for but that that's you should be able to use a cobblestone generator to do that to make yourself a nice little farm of xp for mining xp and for collecting yourself some free cobblestone mainly for the cobblestone so just like i would love that i would love to see that happen it's really good that we have a great hypixel community so please hypixel just fix that oh perfect the watchdog announcement how can you ban such a small percentage like that 0.407 0.72 how can you ban such a small number of people? How does that work? <laughs> like, is it a certain amount of time? Do you count bans for that? Or I thought ban was never come back again. So, like, it technically isn't banning, but it, it's probably like a time thing. You can suspend them. For a certain amount of time and then do that oh I'm gonna need to yeah I'm gonna need to go to the place once again let's go back to the place of places and we'll sell all of our gravel and then we'll be able to go and right on back there also, I am very close to being able to one-shot an Enderman. All I need is the first strike enchantment, which, yippee, it's in the gravel collection, and I've already unlocked it. Um, also, I could craft the first strike book right now. Literally right now, but I, I, I just, I feel like waiting. Also, how have I not, how have I not crafted enchanted redstone out of that redstone in my inventory every single harvest where i get like a full i almost i get almost a full inventory of inch of redstone blocks every single time i go to my minion category and it's it's almost always 
filled up except for when I check it like in one hour successions and then there's like maybe um, 264 stacks of redstone blocks and that's that's cool you know but just that's this is the one of the ways to make money I sold two of the 64 stacks of redstone at the bazaar got 165 K 165 grand right there wasn't even on the auction it was literally selling to an NPC I don't care spooky event I don't care I'm trying to mine gravel for a uh, one-shotting zealots strategy also look at that money hey you gimme <gasps> I only needed that much more gravel and I have the critical potion recipe oh look my obsidian minions they're they're full I need to create a critical what about a critical three potion enchanted glowstone dust and welcome also to my AFK pool if you want to know how to craft an AFK pool it is very simple it is very easy to learn how to do first of all you get yourself a nice three by three around here I used part of my wall to actually make this and then you have to have a three by three in the middle you put down two stone blocks in the middle and you put down a cobblestone slab or any kind of slab in one of the corners doesn't even matter which you need to um, then put some water on top of that and it will one flow this way number two it'll also flow this way then put a sign on um, either side of the water when it's flowing it'll cancel the flowing in that direction and then well what ends up happening is water actually flows up so it's it's a continuous circle guys you can just sit here and do this but make sure you have torches around here otherwise it will not work because then mobs will spawn and they'll, they'll kill you first strike three increases melee damage dealt by 75 percent for the first hit on a mob guaranteed so it it's not useless like giant slayer anymore it's not useless you see I have sharpness 4 on this book that's even better than giant slayer 5 <laughs> Well, I hope I didn't overdo it this time. Just kidding, I totally overdid it. Bruh. Bruh. The only way you can overdo it is turn up the bass boost all the way and turn up the pitch all the way so that it sounds like it makes the most difference. 2,910 with a critical strike on a regular zombie without the Ender Slayer 5. Ender Slayer 5, I think I deal 75% or 60% more no, it's one of those numbers because I have it right here. 60% more damage to Endermen and stuff. Hang on. We can test it out right now. Except that it's not counting in Giant Slayer because, well. Hiya! Okay, that's a regular hit. Um, Hiya! 3,500. Okay, I think we're almost there. Let's drink up our Critical 3 potion. See how well we do? Hey, yeah, four thousand three hundred with a critical strike. Drink our strength three. Hello there, Andy. Boom! Oh, I one shot him. Boom! One shot. Boom! One shot. Boom! Not one. Did I hit him with a normal attack? If I hit these guys with normal attacks, it's not one shot. But um, the chances of me actually hitting them with a normal attack, whoa! Okay, these guys have more HP than the guys up here. They have 6,000, not the regular, but I'm good. I'm just fine. See, when I hit him with a normal attack, it deals, like, no damage, and I don't know. But this is going to be my new way of farming combat XP, because it's said to also be at combat level 20, so that you deal a lot of damage to mobs, because, well, the bonus of actually getting to combat level of that high is actually dealing damage to mobs so um yeah just gonna have to get there and I'm probably gonna have to refine the in the um, things the side effects of my talismans my reforges 
Because that's, that's not... Oh, two normal attacks in a row. Three normal attacks in a row. What are the odds of that? Another normal attack. Okay. Just gonna give me some normal attacks, I see. Come on, just give... Just let me one-shot them, please. Oh my gosh. The true test of power. The runic enderman. Hello there, Rooney boy. I'm just gonna... Hit your toes! Hit the toes! Oh my gosh! Okay, that... Yeah, I'm not ready for that. Just, just keep slaying reg... Oh. Just realized something. I accidentally had like 46,000 coins in my purse. Nice way to end this off. Dragon fight? Or is it a flex? Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content but see you guys next time bye bye